Okay, so this bike is called a what bike? It resembles a spinning bike or a studio cycle, but it's an entry on its own. It's made by that company and it's used massively within the cycle industry. I'm gonna show you how to use this right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the seat. Make sure the seat is at the right height. The adjustments are at the back. Find the right position for you and tighten it up at the back. Once you do that, you can move the seat backwards and forwards. Again, depending on your length of your legs, your height, where you prefer the bike to be, you need to sit there for yourself. But once you, step, once you sit onto the bike, you'll put your feet into the pedals. Now again, once your feet go into the pedals, you place them in and you'll tighten them up so your feet go all the way down into your pedals. From that point, you'll start to pedal the bike as you would a normal bike. On this, you do have height to adjust the height of the handlebars and how far they are away from you. On this one, unlike a normal spinning bike, each spinning bike will be different, but on this one, to make it easier or harder, the lever in front of you here, you'll either move it further that way or you'll move it further that way, which will create a greater level of resistance onto the bike. On the LCD display, there's a lot of information, which again, will show you the information, what you're doing. So we're just gonna select just ride. We'll enter in there. You can put your details in. We're sure what we wanna do. It'll then begin to initialize your workout. From there, as you can see, if Ashley pedals faster, the RPM goes up. So this is how much intensity you're putting in. As you can see there, see it going up. And as she slows down, the RPM will go down as well. On this one, you can do various things. You can get videos to replicate a spinning. You can place your phone on there so you can work with it. Or you can just ride. But a spinning bike is a great way to get a high intensity interval training in as well. So I probably wouldn't use this just for a steady ride. I'd be using this for short, sharp bursts. So what you could do is you could do a seated ride or you could do a seated sprint. So a sprint, she would really up the intensity and she'd really put the effort in and then she'd slow it down again. So depending on the form of workout you want, this is how you use the Watt bike. A great piece of equipment. Again, you can use the spinning bike or the studio cycle, whichever your gym has. And you can change your hand positions. So she can put her hands on the top of the handlebars. She can put them far away where she will lean down or she can hold on to the lower part of the handlebars as well. And it's all about your comfort, where you wanna be. Just make sure you breathe properly during this exercise. Once you're finished, Slow the pedaling down, let the machine stop, and then remove your feet from the pedals, and away you go.